Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Uh, you guys are pretty far back because I am doing yet another massive pour today. Um, so you guys all, whoever saw my last video, I had asked you guys about the pentactic and how you wanted it to go down. Did you want it to start lightest to darkest? Did you want dark in the middle and ombre it out? Um, so it was unanimous, like the votes were crazy and it was voted center panel dark, making it go light. So that is what I'm doing tonight. Now I had it in my head and I thought, well, these are um, 12 by 24 inch canvases. So they're, they're decent size and there's five of them. So, you know, I worry about something this big, right? So what is it? Uh, one, 12 times, I'm so bad at math, but you do the math, <laughs> 12 times five, right? So five times 12, 50, whatever. I'm so bad at math, but anywho, that's pretty big. So um, I figured if for some reason it doesn't sell as a set of five, I could always break them up into a diptych, a diptych, and a solo. Um, so, which is why I've also done my composition in a certain way that if I put the two end ones together, they should be matchy matchy. Same with these ones, they should match. And then this one would be a solo on its own. Okay, it's taken me a long time today, like, a long time to get the stuff ready, figure out a composition, uh, make sure all the canvases are level. There's like popsicle sticks and papers under all of them. And then trying to pick the colors that I'm gonna use took a really long time because I wanted this to be a primarily blue, actually a blue Dutch pour. I, I wanted this to be blue. So I have used for my base, the top half is all going to be the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with Flow Trial and Water, as usual. And if you want to know the ratios of my base and my colored paints, which are all mixed the same, you can check out video number 63. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who are new watching and want to see the tutorial on how I mix my paints. Now. For the bottom half of the canvases, I chose one color and then I lightened up each color. So what I've chosen is Prussian Blue Thalo by Amsterdam. So that is going to be the center. I lightened it up just a smidge with white because we all know that when the colors dry, they always dry darker. So I didn't want this one to look like it was black. I wanted it to look a little like at least blue. And then I lightened it with some more white and did the, these outer panels. And then I lightened it some more with white. I used the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, not the Dutch pour concoction, just the regular white. And I lightened it even more for the outer panels. Now, you guys are so far away. I have two more cameras set up. So you will get a closer view on the outside panels when I'm blowing that out, just like I did that massive triptych. So you will see that. Um, okay, so I've told you what this is and I will show you, or at least try to show you my three colors. Actually, I'll try and come over here. Maybe, just maybe I can get it in camera view. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. But that's the dark, dark blue. Sorry for the light. That's my big bright light to make sure my studio has bright lights for when I'm recording. So that is going to be this base here. And I'm using my Loli Vefi stir sticks, which are great, because then I'm just going to clean them off and reuse them. Then the next color, or shade, shall I say, is a lighter blue. I'll bring that up now see here you go so there you have that so I added white and I made it lighter okay now trying to lighten these up to the colors that I liked was actually super 
difficult, believe it or not. Very difficult. It took me a long time to get the color I actually really wanted. Um, so then the last color I shall show you is a light blue. Again, same phthalo blue, but mixed with a lot of white. So there you have the colors. Like I barely, barely put any phthalo blue in here, like a couple of dollops of paint and that's it. The rest was all white. So I have my cheat sheet here with my pattern, with my wispies. I am going to do wispies. So there's going to be wispies. I'm very nervous because, you know, it's five canvases. Everything is level, made sure it was level, which was hard to do, um, but I did it. So I made two cups for the outer panels and only one for the center panel because I don't need that much for the center one, but I got to make sure I have enough for these outer panels. So I'm just going to give this a stir real quick. Ooh, almost dropped that. That would have been a disaster. I'm going to mix this guy up, get that going. All right. So who saw the, uh, intro well if you, you must have seen the intro don't forget the great switcheroo part four is uh coming up in a couple of weeks so stay tuned for that um i love that intro i could watch it over and over again and um i actually made that intro um which was pretty fun so that was a lot of fun to do um okay i am going to flood my canvases I'm gonna speed you guys up so you guys get to see the process even though you are far away. I will um, speed it up and I'll get all that done and then we will get started. that took I, I don't even want to know how long that took um, if you saw if you were watching and paying attention to the sped up version uh, when I was layering everything you would have noticed I stopped with the white and I was using my fingers to do the blues now what happens is it's drying the paint along the sides is drying and if there's drips the drips will show so you've got to make sure you work quick or you can add more paint, which is what I'm going to do at the end anyway. But even then, even adding paint after the fact, you know, when I'm touching up my sides, it still sometimes shows the drips. So keep that in mind when you're working away here. If you're working away like me, crazy on something large. Okay, colors I am using tonight are Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam. Then I stayed away from the gold for once, as much as I love the gold. I know a lot of people like silver, so I'm using Sterling Silver by Deco Art. Then we have In Danthrene Blue by Holbein, followed by Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Then we have Cobalt Blue Hue by Windsor & Newton. Then I'm going to throw in some Pearl Blue by Amsterdam. Then we have Deep Sapphire by Deco Art. Topping it off, Thalo Turquoise by Holbein. Okay, those are my colors. I'm going to try and remember my wispies here. Um, the blue, the center one, I didn't put a wispy on, so we shall see. 
I don't think I'm going to use the base colors as part of my colors, um, only because they're not in squeeze bottles and I worry that if I tip the cup too much, I'm probably going to just put more than I, you know, really want to. So I'm just not going to do that. So let's start with here. Um, I'm nervous, just like I was with that massive commission, but not as nervous because this isn't a commission. Although, you know, it doesn't mean I don't want it to go good. I, I really hope it, you know, works out, obviously. But, and this, these are all small panels. So at least if something goes wrong, actually, no, you know what? I better be quiet because there's no way I'm gonna be able to mix the same color again. Oh, uh, I, I don't know what to do here. I didn't put a wispy, so I'm gonna leave it. I, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, that can fall down. All right, where are we at? Sterling silver. Oh boy. I, yeah, I didn't add a wispy in the center because I wasn't really sure. Right in this, like it would look stupid right in the center. I don't know. I could, I could potentially add it when I'm done. If you know, we'll see how the rest of this blows out and see how it's going to turn out. I better close these before I forget. And then I go to shake them and I make a colossal mess. All right, next. In Dan 3 and Blue, which has kind of like a purple hue to it. I guess it would help if I open the nozzle fully. So there's eight colors here. And as I said, I'm not using any of the colors from the base. Um, again, only because I'm already using eight colors, you know, for these lines. And most of them are similar. Like, I mean, I have the Thalo turquoise here. So it's probably the same as that. Why bother, right? I just, I feel like just using the squeeze bottle is a safer idea and quicker, mind you, because I really need to get this blowing out or blowed out and see how this pans out. But so far, I'm really liking it. I really like the colors but we'll see how this all blows out and we'll see if the um, sterling silver creates some nice cells. But then again, I also have the iridescent pebeo. I also have here the pearl blue, which is also a shimmery um, paint. And then I have the deep sapphire as well. And I love these Loli Vepi bottles because they make my life so easy. And as you know, you can save 10% off your Loli Vepi purchase using code Canela10. And uh, I'm tomorrow I will be demolding the letter K that I showed you guys in the last video. I just added the last rare, last layer of the casting resin, so it should be ready to go tomorrow. Oh boy, this is a lot of paint. Woo hoo! Um, but yeah, so if you're on Instagram, you'll probably see a picture of it there. If you're not, you'll just have to wait till my next video to see how it turned out. Where's my torch? I don't know where. Oh, it's all the way over there. What's she doing over here? Okay, let's. Uh, Pop the bubbles in here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So once again, I'm gonna lose space on my table for a while. The other day I resin the massive 24 by 48 inch canvas and it is gorgeous and it worked perfectly well. And I'm really happy with the result and I will show you that result um, on a nice sunny day. Okay, so I am going to start here in the center and work my way out thinking about this methodically or just who knows. Let's get started though. After I figure out which way I'm gonna start blowing, probably up. 
into the negative space. So let's uh, cross your fingers, let's go. all in holy moly oh I don't know where to look first <laughs> I love it oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my okay I think I can't even pick which one's my favorite but I think I like this one the best the only thing is I gotta blow this over because there's only one teeny tiny drip coming down here. Before I continue, let me just stop the other cameras from recording. There's no sense in those recording. So let me just turn those off real quick. Hopefully they did their job. All right. Perfect. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, okay, I think I like this one the best. So you see what I'm saying now, right? So let's just say for argument's sake, I broke this up and I put sold these two together. Do you notice how they're matchy-matchy? And then these ones on the end, it has a wispy going this way and one going that way, and this would match this. So if I had to break it apart, because I'll tell you right now, this is not cheap so you know it's gonna be an expensive piece to sell but there might be someone out there who might want it um and might love it as much as i do um but yeah so oh look it's a doggy here get out oh my goodness okay so i gotta blow this over let me get my little thomas stool <laughs> all right this shouldn't be too hard. Oh God, maybe I shouldn't say that. All right. Ah, lovely, lovely. That's much better. So this side, I'm gonna fix all the edges after because I know this is gonna be a super long video, but this is all fine. This is now fine. This is good, that's good. I, um. Hmm, that's blown over. Okay, one thing I might do actually, I lied. So there's a lot of, um, it's either, it's probably the indanthrene blue right here. So I'm going to try to blow it down a little bit. Uh, okay. Oh, my hair is going down. 
Anyone notice I cut my hair? All right, that's a little better. I don't want to mess with it too much. Wow, so pretty. You know what? I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to put it back. Blow it back to where it was. Anyways, yeah, back to my hair. I was at my mom's a couple weeks back. I said, hey, Mike, can you cut my hair? It's not like I can go to my hairdresser. We're in lockdown. So I got my mom to chop like five inches off my hair. All right. Oh my goodness, the blues are so rich. Okay, I am going to put you guys on pause. I'm going to fix all my edges before they dry up too much. And I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close up. So be right back. Uh, all right, guys, it's been about 45 minutes. I kid you not. And I have finally uh, finished uh, cleaning up all my sides, scraping off all the drips, and um, I cleaned up some of my other stuff, um, put some bottles away and stuff. But uh, let's start. I don't even know where to start. I guess we'll start here on the end. So let's start here. And um, I'm really hoping that doesn't blow over. I'm going to blow it upwards a little bit. But I'm so thrilled with this piece. I love it. If I had somewhere to hang it in my own house, I kid you not, I would. Um, but I seriously don't have any more wall space. Um, but look at that. I love it. Okay, so now let's move over here to the next panel. And look at that. The Indanthrene Blue is one of my all-time favorites. I don't... Like, I just keep staring at this. All right, let's move along to the dark panel. This is where all that indanthrene blue was that I was telling you about, but you know what? I like it right where it is. I'm not even, wasn't even gonna touch it. And I'm so glad I didn't do a wispy because as you can see, it's already close to the top. I think this one is my favorite panel. Uh, actually, no. I really like them all. I really, really like them all. I just love blue. I could do blue every day, all day. I know a lot of you agree with me. A lot of you don't, but I love it. I don't know what kind of shimmer we're going to get in here, but we will turn the lights off. Look at that. I like those white cells there. And I will turn off the lights, turn on the flash and the ring light. Look at that. And we'll see what it looks like. All right, everybody. So let's check out the shimmer. And there it is. That is from the sterling silver. I wonder if I turn the ring light off. Will that be better? Yeah, that's better. Look at that. So there's definitely shimmer happening. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that shimmer. That is amazing. Wow. I'm just gonna do the last panel because the other two probably just look the same. But wow, this is the middle panel. That is unbelievable. Look at that. This is gonna look so gorgeous with crystal resin. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, I won't do the other two because you get the gist. Hold on, let me turn the lights on. All right, everybody, there you have it. You asked for it, you got it. You got the pentaptic, you got the center canvas being the darkest, moving to lightest. I would love to know what you think about this in the comments below. And I just may end up doing another one with the other idea of starting lightest to darkest 
And maybe I'll do it with purple next time. Purple and gold. Since we did silver this time, I may do purple and gold. Um, I had leftover paint and I have stored them. My gosh, give me. I've stored them in my Loli Vefi cups. These things are amazing for extra paint. They come in two sizes. And I've already cleaned off one of my scrapers, um, stir sticks, which you saw me use as um, my spatula when spreading out the paint. I still got to clean these too. But look at that, good as new. Who needs popsicle sticks when you can use a reusable stick? Save the environment. So there you have it, guys and gals. Uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say. If anyone is interested in this piece, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. And I... That's it. I'm going to stare at this a little while longer, clean up my mess around here. And that is it from me. If you are a new watcher, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit that red subscription button. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone for all the support. To everyone who has bought merch, anyone who wants to buy merch, again, you can do so. Email me at canelasaraco at gmail.com. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.